In today's news, twin research shows a vegan diet boosts heart health, while a Purdue study reveals hair care products leave a chemical cloud. North American wildlife faces its biggest threat, us. Abortion restrictions may be causing a surge in foster care, and finally, we explore the eternal sunshine of the aging mind. A recent study suggests that restricted access to abortion may be linked to an increase in children entering the U.S. foster care system. The research, conducted by Harvard Medical School, Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, and Bentley University, found that fewer children were placed into foster care when abortions were more accessible. Conversely, an 11% increase in children entering foster care was observed when mothers experienced their first trimester in a state with abortion restriction laws. The study highlights the need to understand the full consequences of restricted abortion access, particularly in light of the 2022 U.S. Supreme Court decision that effectively overturned Roe v. Wade. The findings are especially relevant for marginalized racial and ethnic communities and financially vulnerable families who are at a higher risk. A study led by Matt Wellhaff at Washington University in St. Louis has found that as we age, our minds tend to wander less, and when they do, they're more likely to be filled with pleasant thoughts rather than worries. The study involved 175 younger adults and 175 older adults who were asked to perform a simple online task while their mind wandering was monitored. Younger adults were more likely to be distracted and have negative thoughts, while older adults were more focused and less likely to be distracted by negative thoughts. This research could lead to new ways to help younger adults direct their focus away from negative thoughts and back to their tasks or goals. A groundbreaking study led by Boston University biology student Tara Miller has identified human activity as the greatest threat to wildlife across North America and Canada. The research, which analyzed over 600,000 records from 94 wildlife rehabilitation centers, found that 40% of animals were admitted due to injuries caused by human disturbances, including vehicle collisions, building strikes, and fishing incidents. The study also revealed an increase in animal admissions following extreme weather events, suggesting a link to climate change. The team hopes their findings will inspire safety interventions, inform disaster management plans, and encourage policy changes to reduce human impact on wildlife. Researchers at Purdue University have discovered that the typical morning routine for many Americans could involve inhaling several milligrams of potentially harmful chemicals from hair care products. The study, published in the journal Environmental Science and Technology, revealed that chemicals, particularly cyclic volatile methyl siloxanes, persist in the air after use. The most concerning chemical inhaled is decamethyl cyclopentasiloxane, also known as D5-siloxane, which is often a primary ingredient in hair care products and has been linked to adverse effects on the respiratory tract, liver, and nervous system. The study also found that applying high heat to these chemicals, such as through hair straighteners, further releases the chemicals into the air. The researchers suggest avoiding these products or using an exhaust fan to minimize inhalation. Stanford Medicine researchers have discovered that a vegan diet can enhance cardiovascular health in just eight weeks, according to a study involving 22 pairs of identical twins. The use of twins allowed the team to control for genetic differences and other factors as the twins shared the same upbringing and lifestyle. The study, which ran from May to July 2022, involved healthy participants without cardiovascular disease, with one twin from each pair following a vegan diet and the other an omnivore diet. Both diets were healthy and balanced, but the vegan diet was entirely plant-based. The findings were published in JAMA Network Open on November 30th. That's it for this week's fill of news from the world of science. Let me know in the comments which story you liked best. Also, if you enjoyed the content, please like the video and consider subscribing. See you next week.